you've got a lot going on. Looking ahead, what are some of the project and goals that you're excited about? Mm. Oh, I'm doing another TED Talk that I'm really excited about. Awesome. Um, yeah, and um, I'm doing a lot of stuff, actually, Casper. I'm, sure. I'm building, I'm, I'm involved in a couple of different businesses that I'm super excited about. And, um, you know, su summertime is coming, and so I'm happy about the weather. There's a lot of things, but, like, at the end of the day, um, I think I'm just happy overall with life. Does it like mm. this? You know what I mean? Like, I think that that's the goal, right? Like, I think that people need to, like I said, I, I'm going to circle it right back, not be on purpose, but <laughs> I feel like um, it's more important for me. People look in the future too much. 90% they're looking too much at the future results and they're not really focusing on what's in front of them in the present. And I mm -hmm. like to kind of tell people to focus on what, what's in front of you. Don't worry so much about the future. Focus on what's in front of you first. Absolutely. I think that was a post of yours, right? Today? Yes. How did yeah. you know? I just 90 did that. percent of people are so obsessed with the future ideal and have forgotten the present reality. Yeah. I like that. I Thank you. That. <laughs> Thank you. I know. I just thought about that. Yeah. I was thinking about that. I'm like, you know what? Like that's what I feel. Everyone's like, what what's happening like later, next time, in two, five years, this, this, this. And like yeah. we're so preoccupied either with the pr past or with the future. Oh, absolutely. And, you know, like what's happened to us at like 20, 30 years ago, and that's what's affecting us now and in the future. Like, forget about what happened in the past. Forget about what can be happening in the future. None of that will be even relevant the future unless you yeah. focus on what's happening in front of you. Like, that's the problem. Focus on what's in front of you and the present. Absolutely. I mean, it's the power of now, right? It's the I power totally of now. Like it like, yeah, of, yeah. Just, and just, that's so all true. you have. You don't have the second, but like before or after this, you yeah. literally just have now. People keep on asking, like people always ask, you know, well, what's in the few, like, what are you going to do five years from now or one year from now? I'm like, honey, I don't even know what I'm doing tomorrow. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Like five years from now, a year from now. I have big dreams, I guess, but like, but you know, like, where's, where's that thing? Like tell God your, you know, your plans and you know, he will... He laughs, I believe. He laughs. Like <laughs> nothing I've ever planned ever actually really ever came to fruition in that way. That's kind of like part of the thing. Like I want to, I want to be good now. I yeah. want things, I want to like figure out things that I can do now that can maybe for help, you know, enhance my future later. But that future won't be enhanced unless I focus on what's happening right now in front of me. And that's the beauty, beauty of the journey. It's, it's, you know, it's unknown, it's unexpected, but you could absolutely enjoy it no matter what. And I think, I, you know, that that's a big part of it, too, is like this idea of health, happy, every, like gratitude in the moment, even if it's a bad moment, you feel like I've spoken to so many patients that, you know, we're in the depths of it. It's like if you could find gratitude, then you will find healing later and it'll be so much better. Like just find it no matter where you are. And remember yeah. that, like just being alive is a blessing and that that's enough. Right. So I, love I think that. 